Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be sharing three accessory prints made for the Bamboo Lab P1P. I asked the community for some feedback on what they would like to see compatible with my original boo stick design. And Uncle Jesse, actually, who has like half a million subscribers on YouTube, mentioned that he wanted a wise cam adapter, so of course I made that for him. And then another individual wanted a GoPro adapter, so I made a pretty standard GoPro adapter here. Uh, works with the standard thumb screw and fits probably pretty much any GoPro. And then another person wanted a LED light to be compatible, so thought that this is a pretty affordable light off Amazon, I think it's like $20 and rechargeable USB-C, so pretty nice little light itself that I've used in different situations, but it really lights up the P1P well, and I think that it's probably my favorite of the three. So I wanted to take y'all through making this really quick, and then also figured out a way to power all these. Uh, obviously they all need power at some point, so there's actually a way to power it with the Bamboo Lab P1P that not everyone knows about. And I actually made a cable management print for that as well. So I'll share that towards the end. So be sure to stick around for that. All right, so for those of you that aren't familiar, I originally made the Boost Stick, which is a modification for the Bamboo Lab P1P. If you haven't seen that video, please just review that before it make a lot more sense going through it. So this is the Boost Stick itself, just a little knob that you add to that hole so that you can add other different adapters to uh, the P1P. So the first one that I made was actually the wise cam and someone with half a million YouTube subscribers asked you to make something, then you probably need to make it. So the idea behind this was I wanted to be able to add the wise cam uh, without having to use the magnets or anything else that's included in the wise cam box. So this is all 3D printable and then I just thought that, okay, so this has this little uh, base here so I can use this slot to basically uh, keep it in place. So you slide this in and then uh, put the slot piece kind of in place and that locks it down. So I thought that this is a pretty elegant way to do that and it still has uh, the ability to adjust in this direction as you need it. And it lines up pretty well with the uh, bed plate overall. I'm pretty happy with it. I've actually used it to monitor some of my prints and it turned out pretty well. So uh, that was the first one I made. And then uh, here is the light version. Uh, so this is actually like a hot shoe here, like you see on top of cameras. And that's what this LED light was actually made for was cameras, but thought we could repurpose it for our needs. And I guess a few things to note here was originally I had this uh, circular, but ended up changing it to hexagon. I have a pet peeve about having radiuses in the Z direction just makes it look not very good, so I ended up uh, printing this as a hexagon after I figured out it didn't work. Uh, originally had these as five millimeters, and at that height, or at that width, you couldn't really get to the nods very well, so I ended up changing that. And then I added these little um, cutouts here. And the way I did that, um, really actually pretty easy to do. So I just made a little circle here, and then I extrude this piece here and then you just do a circular pattern and then you have basically a, a nice little knob and grips so that you can twist the, the knob around. And then another kind of unique thing I guess that I'll mention just really quickly that in order to make this symmetric I wanted to have um, a knob on both sides just to make it look good. And then on this side I actually made this into a hex as well. So this is a single piece um, here. So that kind of fits in and holds everything in place. And that way you can just tighten it with one hand. You don't need to hold both sides because this kind of locks it in place with the hexagon. So that was the way I did that. Um, and then I made this just where it fits relatively tight where if you want to keep the light in a single position, it'll do that pretty easily. So uh, that is that design. And then uh, let's go all the way to the end, all right, and then the GoPro, let's see, so here is the GoPro design, and uh, the big issue you have when you're printing GoPro mounts especially is that these little tabs like to break when you 3D print them, because they're, you have to make them this size because the mount, you know, fits in between here, so you can't really make these any thicker. One thing you can do to kind of reinforce it is to make this uh, little radius here. And this is a lot stronger than if you just had this come straight across. And uh, it kind of uh, mitigates that uh, stress point there in that curve. It's still there, but uh, it kind of distributes it 
over the different layer lines instead of just being concentrated in the single layer line that it would be otherwise. So this makes it a lot stronger. It's still not as strong as a injection molded part, but I think that overall this is still a pretty good solution. So anytime you're making a GoPro mount, just consider adding this. It does limit your rotation a little bit, but I think in general this is a lot better solution than not having uh, this little uh, rounded part here because um, if it was flat and I actually tried this initially it snaps really easily so I thought that, that was a good way to try to reinforce everything and then everything else is relatively standard. I did make this a little bit smaller on the inside you can kind of see it uh, down at the, the back down there and I did that so that the thumb screw would kind of self tighten. Uh, I didn't want to have to add like a nut or anything so I thought that uh, that would work good enough for what we're trying to do here so that's the three designs and uh, now I want to show you the other thing that I figured out uh, that's actually pretty useful not even for just this design but other things as well so some of you might remember that there's actually a USB port back here uh, on the back side of kind of behind the LCD screen and uh, I thought that maybe that was something to upgrade uh, the firmware or something like that but it's actually used to power different devices just like some of the mounts that we made so ended up making this little uh, cable management solution here and uh, all that you do is you just plug in the USB back here and then you run your cables and kind of hold all the cables back behind this and then uh, you run that up to your mount over here so I thought this was a really good thing to make and uh, hopefully you can use this uh, there's actually these four tabs here uh, and I think Bamboo Lab actually intended to maybe provide a uh, cover at some point for that or something. I don't know. It just seemed like there should be some type of little cover there, but uh, we can 3D print it. Files are down in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.